It is time for a tale of woe, action, and excitement. I drafted a wacky-ass green-blue deck. How did it all pan out? Well, let's take a look at my first game. I win the die roll, I decide to go second. And I have to admit, this was one time where going second was definitely bad for me. I keep a hand with, you know, some land, mind control coming up later, an azure mage to get some early stuff, divination to draw two cards early on, finally see how that card works. All seems pretty good. He does play a Llanowar Elf, um, and attacks with it, because he's got nothing to do. I put down my Azure Mage. Alright, so there we go. Pretty banal beginnings. Now, on this turn, he does use his Elf, and he taps out for a Primordial Hydra. Now, if you haven't seen this mythic card before, it is a green creature that comes with X plus one plus one counters on it, and the number of plus one plus one counters doubles each upkeep. If you've ever done any math, you know that that gets really big really fast. And as a bonus, once the number of counters gets beyond 10, the thing has trample, so it can't even be chump blocked. It is pony whipping ridiculous. Well, I do have mind control, so in just a few more turns, I'll be able to steal this thing. Of course, had I been going first instead of second, I would be able to steal it a turn earlier. So it was pretty, pretty bad here that I was going second. Well, anyway, I think I can hang on. Um, I can, you know, chump block maybe when it's up at 8 and then uh, steal it the following turn. I should be okay. Here I made an error. I, I'm not going to block with... I decided later not to block with this Azure Mage. So I really should have just attacked right now if I wasn't planning on blocking. Instead, I just sit tight. I cast Divination, get some cards. An Ice Cage in a Forest, so that's good news. If he stops me from mind controlling or something, I can still Ice Cage it. It's pretty tenuous removal, but, you know, I've got answers. I've got answers. Alright, that thing doubles to 4-4, four, four, and he taps out, again, for Acidic Slime. Mainboarded Acidic Slime. This is the most beastly I've ever seen it, because now he can blow up one of my lands. Interestingly, he seems to be more afraid of blue than green. Maybe he saw the mind control going around, I don't know, but he blows up a land. Now I have to wait an extra turn for the mind control. He swings at me. I decide not to block, which means I really should have attacked last time, and untap. Okay, so at this point, things are getting desperate. I decide to Ice Cage that guy, because I am going to take too much damage otherwise. So I Ice Cage the dude and pass my turn, because i got nothing else going on. Maybe, you know, maybe I just got a little greedy, and I was just trying to hang on till I could mind control the thing. Maybe I should have just, you know, tried a Titanic Growth. Oh no, I couldn't. Never mind, because it's about to become an 8-8, eight, eight, so Titanic Growth is beyond its league. So, none of that going on. That would have had to have happened, I think, the previous turn. Instead of my, instead of uh, drawing cards, I could have tried that trick. Well, anyway, now it's an 8-8 eight, eight that can't do anything. So, sucks to be him. He swings at me, and at this point I realize I need to start blocking, because otherwise I'm just going to end up taking too much damage. So I block, those guys trade. And at this point, he taps a bunch of mana for another Acidic Slime. Two Slimes main decked. Just absolutely devastating, because now it takes me another turn away from Mind Control. But, you know, it's still Ice Caged. This this beast is still Ice Caged. If these two cards aren't great, uh, the, this, this thing will be passive for quite a while. Now here I am, I am uh, eating my words a little bit. These two combat tricks, I drew them both, and they are totally useless. I need creatures here, not tricks. So this bites me a bit. Had he not blown up two of my lands, I could mind control this thing right now. It's actually kind of cool. The ice cage blows up because the creature gets targeted, and then it becomes mine because mind control goes on it. So ice cage and mind control, sweet combo. But when you've lost two lands, sucks to be you. He draws Arachnus Web. This is extremely clever. So the Arachnus Web is like a, a pacifism. It's like it's like Ice Cage. It's kind of like a crappy pacifism. Can't block, can't attack, can't use activated abilities. But the genius here is that it blows up if the creature's power is four or more at the end step. So because the creature gets targeted, that makes the Ice Cage blow up. Now, right now, the primordial, ridiculous, whatever piece of crap thing can't attack because it is webbed. However, at the end step, it's obviously gigantic, so the web goes away. And now I untap, and I'm one land short of mind controlling this. 
even if I had, it wouldn't necessarily have won me the game. Although, yes, it would have. I, I would have had it. I would have waited for a turn. It would have become 32-32, and then I would have swung trampled in for an insta-kill. Um, unless he has a fog, or I don't even know what in red or green could, could stop it, um, I just would have won the game. The death touch of the slime is not relevant if I kill the primordial, or if I land the killing blow of the primordial hydra in one hit. But I'm one mana short of casting mind control. And this Phantasmal Dragon is kind of nice. It can block 5 points of damage, but next round I have 16 plus 2 is 18 plus 1 is 19 points of damage coming at me. And 19 minus 5 is 14. So he had enough to kill me anyway, even if I chump blocked with the dragon. And there was no better way to do it, unless I'm missing something incredibly stupid here. With this guy trampling, there's no way to get it done. So I concede. Now, the universe must hate me, because I me as I mentioned in my last draft, you can do a trick where you write down the game number of a game, and then force the MTGO replay to populate that game if the, if the client doesn't save the game automatically. Well, naturally, the one game that I forget to do this with is the one game that MTGO didn't save. It was my other game against that guy. Now, in that game, it was kind of neat. Um, basically, he was flooded and I was screwed. At the end of the day, I was able to mind control his primordial pile of monkey nuts, and he tapped out and attacked me anyway, getting me down to two hit points. He was at 22 life because he had used Soren's Thirst, and the thing was a 20-20 when I possessed it, so I was two hit points shy of killing him. And because of an error that I had made in looting, I was one mana short, of being able to put down enough chump blockers to survive another turn. So the next in the next turn, he just killed me, and I lost. I, again, could have won the game, provided he didn't top deck any removal. And I could have won that first game, potentially, if I'd just been a little... if I had chosen to uh, play first and gotten the mind control online a turn sooner. So both games were games I could have won and didn't, because I just didn't make the right plays, or I got unlucky. So that was kind of heartbreaking. But this is the nice thing about the Swiss queue as opposed to the 4-3 queue or the 8-4 queue. On a normal queue, you'd be out, but I got to play two more games. Well, my second opponent disconnected, so I got a free buy. My third opponent conceded the first game after mulliganing a bunch of times. Apparently, he just got a terrible hand, didn't even want to play it. So this is actually game two. I want a whole free first, I want like a whole free match, and then I want a whole free first game. So this is the second game of round three. If I win one more game, I get another pack, and it's good tidings. Now, this is a hand that even I won't keep. I'm not going to keep six land on a combat trick. So I do mulligan into mana, looters, and an eventual mind control. So good stuff to look forward to. He plays a swamp. Does nothing. I get another land, which is good. It's getting closer to mind control. Now, he plays the Stormblood Berserker. This is an interesting decision on his part. So this, this creature... The Bloodthirst 2, obviously it's amazing if you can play it as a 3-3 for 2 mana, but even if you can't, it's still cool because it can't be blocked except by 2 or more creatures. So even if it doesn't get Bloodthirst, it can help you get Bloodthirst on your other creatures, and that's kind of what I'm concerned about at this point. Well, nothing I can do except play a Merfolk Looter. On his turn, he swings at me. I can't block because this guy requires 2 blockers, so I let it go through. Fortunately, though, he has nothing. He's got he's got no bloodthirst, no nothing. So, it's my turn. Here I make maybe a small error. I don't know. I, I play the island sort of carelessly. What I should have done is played the forest. Then I could have actually used the looting ability of the looter. But now I don't want to throw away my forest because I need it to cast the troll hide. So, I don't actually want to loot anything. I want another looter. I want this mind control. I want the dragon and I want the troll hide. I want everything. So, there's no point in looting. I just incorrectly cast my creature before attacking. Oh, I guess I decided not to attack. Okay, never mind. So I just cast my looter. I've got my two looters sitting here, and then it's back to him. He chooses to attack into my two looters. Now, I didn't even want to loot with one looter, so I certainly don't need two lootings. I decided to double block the guy. It's true that if he has removal, he could kill one of my looters and then trade um, with my, my looter with the uh, with his dude so that I will have no more looting capabilities but I'm not really worried about that because again I don't really need the loot so um, this is a case of really epically useless looters they're just one ones that cost two mana well he doesn't have removal or, or anything 
we just trade. And he proceeds to cast nothing. Really exciting. Now I draw the Thran Golem, so I'm you know, one land and a couple of turns away from living the dream of casting the Thran Golem, and then having a 7-7 seven, seven flying, trampling, first striking, regenerating creature. But that, that's, all, that's all a distant dream at the moment. I still don't want to loot, obviously, so I just attack with the looter. And I play my dragon, just to see if he has anything that can target it. On his turn, he plays a swamp, so he's up to five lands. He's got nothing, though. I'm kind of wondering, is he going to use an instant to kill my dragon before it deals damage? Nope. So I just whack him for six, and I put down this crown of empires that I just drew. So I'm in really good shape here. I've got some mega power coming online, and I can tap down one of his creatures if need be. On his turn, he manages to pull down an act of treason onto my dragon. He probably just top decked that, or else I imagine he'd have used it last turn. So my dragon blows up. It's kind of cool, actually. He doesn't get to whack me with it, I suppose. And then he passes the turn. He's got nothing to do. I still don't really have any cause for looting because I don't get another land, so no Thran Golem. Sad face, sad face. However, this Fleetwing is great because he can't kill it with because my opponent can't kill it with removal. It is hexproof, and I can put the troll hide on it. 4-4, four, four, regenerating flyer, not bad. So I attack with my looter because again I see no point in looting. And I put down the Fleetwing. Still looking to be in pretty good shape. On his turn, he taps tons of land. And he plays a Volcanic Dragon. I was actually kind of afraid of, like, the Inferno Titan. Maybe that might have made a difference in this game. But this dragon, really not a problem. Not only can I steal it and tap it down, um, but honestly, just, like, putting Trollhide on my Fleetling, I can block it all day. So, really, not, not a concern. I'm happy to see that come out of him tapping all that mana. He chooses to attack. That seems unwise, because... That means that I can race him. He's dealing four damage to me. I'm going to deal three damage to him. When he, you're seven points behind, seven hit points behind, you don't actually want to race four for three. My clock is faster than his. It's going to take him five turns to kill me. You know, it's only going to take me four turns to kill him. Well, he attacks me. I still don't draw a land. I kind of do want to land at this point. This Ice Cage, I mean, I already got the mind control, the kind of empires, and the ability to block indefinitely. I don't need this tenuous removal spell, so I decide to loot. I do get a forest, so I throw out the ice cage, play the forest down, and then cast mind control on his dragon. So now I'm in really good shape. I don't know of any ways that red or black can get rid of mind control. Enchantment removal is not the forte of those colors, so I swing at him for two points, and I'm still ready in reserve to put a Thran Golem down and a troll hide, or just a troll hide on the fleet wing, and start tapping things with a crown. He concedes. So uh, that was really, really quick. The uh, first match was the only match that had really any interesting games. Props to that guy for putting in two acidic slimes and uh, making it work. That opponent of mine was the one who actually ended up winning the entire tournament. And this is part of the reason why I like to play in the Swiss queue. If you're not going to win the tournament, that means somebody else is. And that means there's always a chance that that is the person you're going to get in round one. That's why I don't like the queues where you lose immediately and get nothing if you go out in round one. There's always a chance you're going to come up against the guy who is going to win and is just going to crush you. I think my deck was pretty solid though. Tell me if you think differently in the comments, but I feel like if I could have just hung on a little bit better and won that game against him, I might have had a chance at beating the other people in the draft. But we'll never know at the, at, at the moment for any, at any rate. I am glad that I got two packs from winning two matches in the Swiss which means that now I am dead even compared to where I would have been had I been playing in the 4-3 queues instead, and I'm very happy about that. Alright, thanks for watching another quick draft, and I'll see you next time.